In this video, I'm going to explore some features in Revoice Pro using Logic as my digital audio workstation, but Revoice Pro works great with most other popular DAWs. I've set up my screen this way to make workflow easy between applications. I have a number of tracks here in Logic that I'd like to tune, tighten both in time and pitch, and widen using Revoice Pro. Let's have a listen to them. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all So twisted and broken Lost in the storm Now as you can hear, these tracks could use some work. I've transferred the sections of audio in the three tracks in Logic to the three tracks in Revoice Pro. And the first thing I'm going to do is address issues in Leadvox 1 like sibilance and tuning. So in Revoice Pro, I'll make sure that I've selected track 1, which is our lead Vox 1, and I'll press this icon to open this track to full height. Now I'll right click and choose Make Warp Region. Now I can address a few issues that I'm hearing with this vocal. The first is sibilance. Now sibilance is a burst of high frequency energy that is typically caused by words with the letter S in them. Now Revoice Pro has identified what might be a sibilant event with this white gray block here. I'm going to create a playback region at the top so you guys can hear the sibilant moment that I'm hearing. Let's see if you can hear it. Ocean, nothing can save it. So right when he says save, it's very harsh. So what I'll do is press my S key on the keyboard to see my lead vocal in a level display, which shows the audio level profile. If I click and drag on this sibilant event, I can attenuate it. If I click and drag holding Option, I can attenuate it or boost it by 3 dB increments. I'm pretty happy with that change. Let's listen back in Revoice Pro. Ocean, nothing can save it. And now, let's listen to the before in Logic. So here's before we did any work with Revoice Pro. Nothing can save it. And once more, Here's after we did our work with Revoice Pro. Ocean, nothing can save it. Much better. Now the next thing I want to do is tune a note that I'm hearing. I'll press the S key to return to Warp View. And now I'll make another playback region. And let's see if you can hear the note that I'm having a bit of trouble with. My heart is an ocean. That's right when he says ocean and goes up. My heart is an ocean. So to fix this, I'm going to zoom in. And if I click and drag, I can tune this note and get it to the right place. And now let's listen back to make sure that I have it in the right spot. My heart is an ocean. That sounds great, but I'd like to ensure a smooth transition between both notes. So I'll zoom in, right click, and choose the Smooth Join tool. If I click and drag these two audio events, with the join tool and then let go, it joins them. Let's have a listen back to see how that sounds. My heart is an ocean. That sounds much better. So here's before in logic. My heart is an ocean. And here's after in Revoice Pro. My heart is an ocean. So as you can hear, we quickly tune the note and there's no artifacts. It sounds very smooth. So now that I'm happy with my changes, I'm going to tighten the time and pitch of the two dub tracks to more closely match the guide track. To do that, I'm going to press B and select the APT process, which stands for Audio Performance Transfer. I'm going to select the vocal slightly loose time and pitch preset. I'll make my guide lead one, and my dub, lead two. Just to be clear, I'm going to process both of the doubles of the lead vox at the same time. And I can do that by making sure I have the fix offset button checked and by creating two processes. So the first dub to be processed is lead vox two, and the second is lead vox three. And now I'll press new process. And in a flash, 
we've aligned the dub vocals both in pitch and time to the guide audio. Let's have a listen back to our work. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. You can see just how much faster that is than doing all the editing by hand. A new feature in Revoice 3.3 is this gray scale display along the bottom of the track window, which gets brighter where more time in pitch processing is happening. This is to help locate where to listen most carefully to check that there are no artifacts. Let's do it before in Logic. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. And another quick after in Revoice Pro. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. I've transferred all the tracks we worked on in Revoice Pro back into Logic, and so now let's listen to those tightened and tuned guide and dub vocals with the instrumental track. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. So twisted and broken, lost in the storm. Now, Revoice Pro is also great for adding doubling effects, which can add weight and power to audio events. Take, for instance, this harmony. I'll play it for you. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it, nothing at all. Now, it sounds great, but I'd like to widen it with Revoice Pro. So I've transferred it to Revoice Pro, and again, I'm going to hit B. And I'll select a different process this time. I'm going to choose Doubler. I'm going to make my input harm one and my output harm out. And for my preset, I'm going to choose stereo vocal loose timing. And now that I'm ready, I'll hit new process. And now let's listen back. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. Nothing at all. Here's before in Logic. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. And here's our new, wider, more powerful harmony track that we made in Revoice Pro. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. We've only scratched the surface with Revoice Pro. For instance, Revoice Pro can also be used to tune, tighten, and double instrument tracks, and much, much more. For more information about Revoice Pro or other Synchro Arts products, head to SynchroArts.com.